Dr Vince Cable has congratulated a North East company whose renewable energy device is set to save the energy industry over £600 million in reduced capital costs, as well as reducing carbon emissions by 37 million tonnes by 2020. The Secretary of State for Business inspected the groundbreaking superconducting fault current limiter on a visit to Applied Superconductor Limited in Blythe. Well, the superconductor uh, operation which you've just seen is indeed a small firm and it's, it's got a very specific uh, product which potentially, you know, when, it, when its production is expanded, will do an enormous amount to save energy within the distribution system in the UK. But it's just beginning, we're just talking about demonstration models, it could potentially be a very substantial company and this is what will happen in the renewable sector. We're at very, very early stages of developing that, the low carbon economy, and there'll be a large number of jobs will come in its way. He's taken time out to come to something which is basically a small operation at the moment, but has huge potential for the improvement of the distribution of electricity in the UK and, and beyond. We've done a calculation that the, the saving could be in excess of 600 million over the next eight, nine years. Now, creating jobs, uh, we have a small workforce at the moment. If the, if the right people were available, we would double this workforce before the end of the year. Electricity generated through renewable sources, wind, wave and solar, is of a lower voltage than electricity produced via traditional power stations. This means there's a greater likelihood of faults occurring. The device from Applied Superconductor Limited is triggered when a fault is detected. It then limits the short circuit currents to lower levels, so the system doesn't become overloaded and can continue to operate safely. The unit behind me is uh, what they call a fault current limiter, it's superconducting. Uh, and what it does on the network, it acts like a shock absorber you have in the car. So when you go over a pothole in your car, um, the shock absorber absorbs all the force that's it, that happens when the, the wheel goes back upwards. Our unit is the same. When the network, when there's a fault in the network, it could be clashing over headlines, it could be a, a, a contractor putting a, a, you know, a spade through a cable, any of those events. And our, our device absorbs the energy that's created by the fault and allows it then to be safely switched out of service. The device has already been adopted by Rolls-Royce and the Energy Technologies Institute. Applied Superconductor Limited has now also secured the funding to develop the next generation of superconducting fault current limiters.